back to regular. This is gonna be the easiest thing I've ever done. Um, I have some supporter of cause folks to accommodate and that will be the next few days, but I just needed to do one today that I kinda already, kinda already knew. So this one should be a crowd pleaser too. Uh, Everlong, acoustic, and parentheses for Mr. Tristan Carlson and Mr. Dread Force. The first step in an operation such as this is to put your guitar into drop D. Here to explain how to put your guitar into drop D is our very own Mr. Spaghetti. Yeah, hello everybody, I'm Mr. Spaghetti. Thank you, thank you. Now the best way to put your guitar into drop D is you must select the perfect lasagna noodles. Mr. Spaghetti, this, this is not, not a cooking show. <laughs> Anyways, you know how to put your guitar into drop D. Your low E string goes down two notes to D, so bust out your tuner, make it happen. And then the first thing is pointer finger on A, nine, and ring or pinky finger, I'm gonna use my pinky finger, I don't know why, I just am, on D11, and this is not a power chord, not an F sharp power chord, because this note is F sharp, but rather a D, an F sharp, which is D's major third, and then a C sharp, which is D's major seventh, so this is a really cool way to play. D major seven. There it is. Anyways, if you want to get specific with the strumming, it's going to be like this. Bass, bass, chord, bass, chord, chord, bass, chord. And you do it twice per chord there, per, uh, per position. And then your pointer finger goes to cover both the used to be E string and the A string now. And now we have that much, same little plucking pattern. Now we go down one, two, three, four frets to the fifth and the seventh frets, same shape, and we switch to bass, bass, chord, bass, 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 chord. And only that much. So it's been eight beats, eight beats, four beats. And then back up to where, from whence we came on nine, nine, eleven in the same, more simple plucking pattern as this one. And that's the verse. I'm now going to simplify my strumming so I don't curse and do this 70,000 times because I do one little thing wrong, but here we go. For counting purposes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, eight, four, eight. Totally weird. You want to stay down here, but you don't. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, That's the verse. Back with the next part. All right, blueberries and octave chords. So we're gonna do a C sharp octave chord on the fourth fret of the A string and the sixth fret of the G string. And you can have your low D ringing out this whole time while you're doing this too, but I've got my D string, my higher D string, my B string and my E string muted. So when you strum it, you only hear, used to be E, now D, A string and G string. Great. So. I'm gonna strum down, up, down, up. You could strum downs, but either way, you're gonna think blueberry. So three strums per chord here. Three on the fourth fret. Three on the fifth fret, blueberry. Three on the seventh fret, blueberry. Three on the ninth fret. And then one more on the ninth fret. One on the tenth. And then we're gonna move to Whatever finger's on the G string, keep it on that string, move it down to the ninth fret, and then make your little bar here. This is a mega power chord, because we have a, a root and a fifth, and a root and a fifth. It's a double double power chord on the seventh and ninth frets. Seven, 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 nine. So, nice and slow. I'll do all downs this time. You make it that far and you go to 9 and 11 for the chorus. For the chorus. So we did our. Now we have 9, 9, 9, 11. Down to 
a five seven, and then I think what Dave Grohl does in the you know uh, greatest hits recording version of the acoustic version of this song is just take the pointer finger off, and you have open, open, open seven, and that's 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 a big a big D power chord as well. But I like to play a big humongous. D open chord down here because this is one of the coolest things about playing guitar is in drop D playing a D chord so you do whichever one you want I'm gonna do I'll, I'll do whichever one I feel like in the moment but there you go those are your two options so piece to mention is the build-up before the last chorus where you do the blueberries over and over and over and over again so blueberry 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 and then nine ten nine repeat Is. We just did it. <laughs> Whatever. That's it, you know. And there you go. That's how you play Everlong acoustic. I'm sure a lot of other blokes have shown you how to do that, but uh, maybe, maybe I said something that made it click for you. Or maybe... You haven't watched the other blokes, but either way, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for the great request, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye. Whew! I think I just untuned my guitar when I went, whew! Uh, back to regular, whew! I, I can't stop wooing. This is, uh, this is gonna be the, this is gonna be the, mm.